In the papers today, Britain is not heading for another housing bubble, according to a report from Henderson Global Investors. The report argues that Britain did not experience the plunge in house prices experienced by other nations, thanks to low interest rates and thin supply. Based on rental yields, Henderson estimates that property is currently 13% undervalued, compared to a 28% overvaluation in 2007. Grant Shapps has pledged to make it easier for businesses to hire and fire staff if the Conservatives win the next election. He said current employment laws are cumbersome and leave employers having to create disingenuous reasons for making staff redundant. Ministers are poised to announce a consultation to introduce a new standard on minimum space for people's homes in an attempt to end people having to live in rabbit hutch homes. In 1920, the average new large family home had five bedrooms and occupied nearly 3,500 square feet. Today's equivalent has four bedrooms and is 1,000 square feet smaller. And finally, a study of insurance records by Aviva has revealed how much our lives are influenced by our names and age. Half of all Garys and Debras are aged 45 to 54, while three quarters of all Ronalds, Jones, Joyces and Jeans are over 65. Those aged 18 to 25 live in a flat or maisonette with household contents worth £19,362. Their older friends, though, live, uh, their older friends of 80, 25 to 34 still live in flats but are likely to have a sporty car. They will also go further afield on holiday.